All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to use the Steam Storage Manager tool, which I feel a lot of people don't even know exists. So what is it? It's a tool to help you visualize all of the space that your games take up on your hard drive or hard drives, because you can put Steam games in multiple different locations on your computer, and then you can delete them or move them between the folders that you have them installed in on your computer with this tool so that you can manage your space. And if something's taking up too much space, you can delete it and free up some storage for other things. So to reach this tool, all you have to do is go up to your Steam and then go to settings. And then from here, go to the downloads tab and then click the Steam library folders button at the top of that little page. From here, this is your storage manager. It shows you all of the games in this list down here that are installed on your computer. You can click them with a little checkbox here to either uninstall them or move them to the other folder that you have set up on your computer. And then that would allow you to uninstall them to free up some space if you feel like it's eating up too much storage on your computer. So when it comes to moving stuff to another folder on your computer, you can click on this button at the top and then you can add another folder to your computer. Let's say I want to use the, um, the local drive D I can add a folder there to store games in. And if I go back to this main one, I can select them and I can tell it to move them to my secondary hard drive. That way, not everything is cluttering up the same spot on my computer, which is especially useful if you have a smaller SSD that you use for your Windows installation and you have a secondary hard drive that you use for everything else. You can also go over here when you select on one of these different folders at the top and you can click the three little dots on the far right side and then you can remove this drive as a place to store games on your computer, which I think I will do. You can make this your default install location. You can browse this folder to see what's currently installed inside of it. Or if you feel like there's some corruption issues happening, some games didn't install correctly, didn't download correctly, you can click the repair folder button. But I'm going to click remove drive. So this will only be the primary singular install location on my computer. And from here, I get some options. I can browse this folder, which will allow me to. And then if I want to, I can go under common to browse all of my different like installed games and their associated files. And then I can also repair this folder to see if there's anything going on wrong with that installation. I can do a repair to make sure that if something funky is happening, Steam can check this file to make sure everything is working correctly although nothing appears to be wrong with it, so I should be good to go. So that's how the storage manager inside of Steam works. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.